So the recent Borderlands 3 hotfix made changes to a few of the characters, Amara, Flack and Zane. Today we see the before and afters. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out the video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like truly helps me out and subscribe if you want more Borderlands 3 videos. Also guys, I'm giving away copies of Borderlands to win one for yourself or a friend. Simply subscribe and make sure you have notifications turned on. Drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. Okay, so Amora I didn't think was worth the trouble of actually recording said changes due to her changes not being that effective. I'm saying that guys, after seeing the before and afters of the flak, I ain't sure they were worth recording too. But I did anyway, so we will check them out. So let's start with flak indeed. So the nerfs that happened were as follows. Gorillas in the mist duration reduced from 8 seconds to 6 seconds. Not a massive difference, but 2 seconds is actually quite a chunk. Gorillas in the Mist critical damage bonus reduced from 50 to 25%. Okay, so watching the before and Grave Ward Mayhem 3, the damage output this build is capable of is on another level, as you can see on the screen now. It's just absolutely ridiculous. And me being a Zane main, I see things like this, and it does really annoy me because Zane he ain't capable of things like this, he really isn't. And if he is, I ain't seen the build yet. So here is the same boss being Grave Ward on as close a mods I could get which really didn't affect much either run. So the differences we see here are quite apparent, although 2 seconds being knocked off doesn't seem like a lot like I said, in game, in a game like Borderlands 2 seconds is a lot of extra time and we see this in the after version of the boss fight. The damage also being reduced by 25% is significant and is also very important. Damage numbers we can see are reduced too. The difference is it seems mainly from the two clips on the fact it now takes two action skill usages to kill what's basically the same boss. I will shout though that the weapon here being used is the King's Cool which also received a nerf. The King's and Queen's Cool fire rate reduced by 50%, Firestorm and Storm base charge times were reduced to 1 second down from 2. So basically being nerfed 50%, that will also have a major factor here. But looking at both videos, because of Flak's ability to regen ammo, I ain't sure the fire rate is being too badly affected. The other perk definitely is though. And unless you really slow down the frames, you can't actually tell. But the differences in damage this weapon is capable of has definitely dropped significantly. Now I've been told that although Flak has been nerfed, the changes ain't too drastic and I suppose it is better that way. Gearbox don't want to be nerfing their character into the ground. I mean, what good would two Zanes be? Talking of Zane, let's move on to him. So the change to Zane were as follows. Digiclone damage increased by 38% and drone damage increased by 50%. Cryo bullet damage penalty removed. Drone rocket damage increased by 50%. Almighty Ordnance rockets damage increased by 75%. So on screen now you can see how effective both action skills are against the 4 abilities. And let's be honest, they ain't very effective at all, hence why this buff was needed. So we can make out the damage numbers here with the Digiclone doing 172 damage per shot and the Drone doing uh, roughly 312 per shot. With what looks to be the Ordnance doing multiple hits at 234 per hit marker. After the patch we do see some great increased damage that's for sure. The Digiclone per shot now is doing 308, which is amazing, and we can see now the drone is now doing into the 400s per shot, so that's definitely a better difference. Question is, does this change put Zayn on the level of other characters in terms of build for damage output? I ain't sure about that, but what I am seeing here is much better than what we had before. And in my opinion, Zayn isn't as bad as people actually make out anyway. Where other characters do indeed fall short, he stands tall. I said this in a previous video. Zayn seems to be that one character to put into the game where he's that all round character. He's got a bit of everything thrown into him. And that's why I like him. That's why he's my main. I mean, I could have moved characters, I could have switched to Flak, I could have switched to Moles, Amora. But no, I'm sticking with Zayn because Zayn is my main people. But yeah, guys, this is just a quick before and after of said changes to Flak and Zayn. Not massively different. That's why I didn't go too in depth into the actual video. So you're not massively different, but definitely enough, some might say. They obviously don't want to overdo it this early into the game's release. And on that note, guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a like, really helps. Out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands 3 videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.